Good morning. We are in the second chapter of Hebrews, and uh, we're talking about God's laws. And yesterday I made the point that Jesus did not come to overturn the law. He came to fulfill it, and that the laws are not being abolished, that they actually are a good thing, uh, that they, they have, a, uh, they have a, a, a value in teaching us what reality is and how things ultimately work. And uh, so we, the Ten Commandments are actually a, a blessing to have. Uh, we don't break them uh, so much as we break ourselves against them. So it's, it's helpful to know what they are. Well, uh, a friend of mine is a judge in, in Washington, and uh, he's he says he opens his court every day saying, um, welcome, uh, welcome to my courtroom. Today I am going to issue a legal, uh, a legal ruling. I will do my best to make it a just ruling. I can't promise you justice. What I can promise you is a legal ruling. So we have, as humans, we have a legal system. We don't have a justice system. We call it a justice system, but we can't promise justice because we're too broken and we don't have all information. Here's the deal. I mean, this is part of the argument that's getting developed in, in, in the letter to the Hebrews. There is a justice system, uh, and it is God's justice. And part of the argument that's being made here by the writer to the, the Hebrews um, is that if you thought it was bad in the Old Testament— when people disobeyed angels or prophets, how much more do you think justice will be meted out on those people who disobey Jesus, who is God and more significant than the angels or the prophets? So the bad news, and we, you know, we, hey, we, we like the good news, but the bad news is we are either going to be perfect or we are going to face the consequences of being imperfect, or we are going to embrace the salvation that is offered by God through Jesus. So we're either going to perfectly fulfill the law, that isn't happening, or we're going to face the consequences of our sin, that happens, or we accept the grace and mercy of God extended to us through Jesus Christ his son, our savior. So a, a critical issue here is whether or not you have been reconciled to God, whether or not you have accepted Christ as your savior. He's more than a savior. He is an example. He is Lord. He is king. He is a prophet. He's more than just a savior. But Jesus says, I, I was born to die. I have come to, to offer my body as a sacrifice, I am the Paschal Lamb. I am laying down my life as an atonement for sin. So that is a, a big uh, part of this. That's a big part of, uh, obviously, of the Bible. It is a big part of the letter to the Hebrews. This is a letter about Jesus. It is a celebration of Jesus. It is a celebration of all aspects of Jesus. Um, but we need to understand that, uh, that Jesus is not overthrowing the law. Jesus is fulfilling the law, and so we want to do our best to embrace the law, to follow the instructions, the commandments, the direction that we find in Holy Scripture. We want to pursue holiness to the extent that we can, but we also need to make certain that we have embraced Jesus as Savior and Lord. And so, as always, we invite you, especially if you're around here, but even if you're not, to reach out to somebody that can explain to you the, the love of God and the grace of God offered through Jesus. If you don't know Christ as Savior, please let us, and want to, please let us know so we can follow up with you. And have a good day.